Whew. Good morning, folks. Welcome back to another video. It is a chilly morning here in Pensacola, Florida. It's like 30 degrees this morning. It's hunting weather, man. It's almost rutting season down here, which I'm super excited about. That means that I'm going to be doing a lot of hunting here over the next three weeks because rutting season, when you got an opportunity to kill those big deer, and we've got some good ones on camera, and so I'm probably going to make, well, I'm actually supposed to go hunting tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure if it's going to work out yet but we're gonna try today let me show you what we're gonna do I'm just here in the backyard of my new house dude I'm loving this place dude the energy here is awesome you know have you ever just lived in a place where you like feel good about it feel how, like it has awesome energy that's how I feel about this place so I'm super motivated which is one thing that I if you're ever looking to purchase a home and you walk into a home see if you're see if you're motivated see if you're energized all right that's that's a key that that might be the home for you so what we're going to do today we're going to make a uh we're going to go catch some bait and then we're going to take the bait out in our kayak and we're going to see if we can catch some fish with the bait that we caught now the interesting part about this video is we're going to catch the bait with a homemade bait trap this is not the first time i've done this video cmr did it the other day I've done this video before. So we're gonna see if we can catch some bait with the fish trap and then take it out and go catch some big fish. That's the goal anyways. This will be the second time I've been on the kayak, okay? The kayak is uh, something that I'm going, looking forward to doing a lot of here in the near future. Just hadn't had a chance to do it, so looking forward to doing that today. Let's go build this trap. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a Coke bottle, well this is probably a Sprite bottle, a pair of scissors, and some duct tape. And that's how we're gonna make this fish trap. Super simple. We're gonna cut the top off. So hoping I would be slightly more graceful than this. I failed kindergarten. There we go. Next, we're gonna take our top, we're gonna to put it upside down in the bottle. Basically what it's gonna do is the fish are gonna swim in through the top and they're not gonna be able to get back out. And we're gonna take a few pieces of duct tape just to kind of secure the top here, making sure that nothing happens once we get those big bait fish in there. Okay, here we go. Just like that. Maybe let's go one more piece of duct tape. There we go. And this is what it's gonna look like, just like this. Now we gotta go find a place to set this trap. The next thing we gotta do, folks, is fill this sucker full of shrimp. All right, now I got, I picked me up some shrimp from Publix. All right, look at all those bad boys. We need bait, all right? So we're gonna fill this sucker full of bait and that's gonna entice these fish to come up in the homemade fish trap. And we did tie a spool of fishing line to it so that we can get it back once that these fish get all up in our little trap right there. All right, time to put it in the water. Let's go catch us some bait right here. This looks like a great spot right here. We're out here on a dock. This looks like a fantastic spot to let it down. And so that's what we're gonna do. All right, now it's gotta fill up with water. All right, y'all, there it is right there, completely sunk in the water. And I'm starting to see a few fish come up around it. I don't know if they're going in it or not. They gotta get brave. They're gonna have to get real brave to go up in there. So we, we'll see here in a minute. Look who just showed up, folks. Yak Motley, he rode his little electric bike down here from his house. All right, so here's the deal. That sucker has been sitting in the water for about 15 minutes. So we gotta check it out and see if there's any fish in it. There it is right down there. Look at it. And I did see bait fish around it. You can't see as good now because we do have some wind blowing. Pull it up nice and easy and slow because we don't, we don't want the line to come undone. Oh, look, there's fish in it. There's fish in it. Look, look, look. Oh, he's trying to get out. Is he getting out? What's in it? Look, guys. Check it out. Hold on. Check it out. <laughs> hey, that'll catch you a redfish right there. Look at the bait, dude. All right, that's Muharas. That is Muharas, y'all. We got some bait. Look at there. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I cannot believe that worked. Where'd you get the, the bottle? I bought it at Publix. Oh, I thought you got it out of the garbage can. No, I bought that at Publix. Now that I have caught some fishing bait, and if you know anything about muharas, they're one of the best fishing bait you can use. I'm gonna put those in my bucket over there. And it took about 10 minutes, and we got a handful of muharas with our homemade DIY fish trap. Got quite a few of them swimming around in there. 
got. Uh, and now, they're in the bucket. And that, folks, is our bait right there. Whew, Ron is on the way over. He is gonna go fishing with me today, so we're both gonna do the kayak thing, but we're also gonna stop at Avalon Bait and Tackle in Milton, Florida, and grab some shiners to go with it because I didn't catch enough bait for the both, both of us. So, I wanna have an assortment to give us more of an opportunity. What you looking at, bro? Like, all my stuff. Like, this is mine. <laughs> that is not yours, this bro. This is mine. That is not yours. He's going through my new garage claiming that all this the stuff, is that is not. You bought me that in Kentucky. These are mine. That is not. We've got the trucks loaded up. We've got both of our kayaks. Uh, and we are going to go do some yak fishing in Blackwater River. If I look swole, it's not because I've been lifting weights. You look like you've ate a few too many cheese balls it's, is what you look like. It's for all the people out there that were getting ready to comment. I've got my life jacket on underneath my underneath big his, coat. His coat. So, yep, hey, at least so, you're wearing it, man. We don't have to worry about you like dying today. You good, man? Oh, I'm good. We're going to head down here a couple hundred yards. We're going to start fishing. And first and foremost, I'm putting on this big old muhara and tossing him out before he dies. And just seeing what happens. I'm gonna actually, I may actually troll him behind the boat and then, all right, got a cast. Yeah, I'm gonna troll him behind the boat. I'm gonna put a shiner on. I've got two rods with me. I'm gonna troll one rod out the back just to see, you know, have two rods going. And then we're gonna go big old shiner on the next one. And I'm just going to kind of cast it around and see what happens. I would start fishing right here. right here. What we're targeting today is either stripers, redfish, chain pickerel, largemouth, big speckled trout, could be anything. I'm assuming the bite is going to get better the later in the day that it gets. I think I got one. Yeah. Oh, it came off. Dang it. That's my first bite. I think that was a chain pickerel that I just had right there. Guys, I think I've got picked up again right here, but I can't tell if it's that same. I think there's a very small pickerel that's got it. Yep, yeah, I'm on. I'm on. There he is. That's what, exactly what I thought I had. <laughs> Y'all check it out. Oh, come here. This is like a southern pike, a.k.a. chain pickerel. Pretty cool looking fish, super aggressive. And that's just a tiny little fella right here. Let's let him go. Let's see if he'll go. There he goes. They love shiners, I can tell you that. Ron, are you okay over there, man? Oh, good. While it is early in the day, get me another shiner right here. I'm gonna venture back up into these little creeks. See if we can't catch us some more pickerel or maybe bass. And then once it gets later, we'll go out for the stripers. Kind of cool fishing these little creeks like this. Very peaceful in the kayak, I can tell you that. This little pocket right here looks money. Let's see if we got something hiding in here. Guys, I think I just got picked up right here. Let's see if he's still on. I don't know, it's hard to say. It is hard to say. Nope. There's a bite, he's taking it. There he is, I got him. Oh dang, that's a heavy fish right there. That's a heavy fish. Hey, that's a good one. Look at here, guys. Nice pickerel. Nice pickerel. Come here, buddy. Oh yeah, that's a good one there. Come here, buddy. Y'all check out the teeth that these guys have. Those are some, look at that. Look at these teeth, bro. That's wild. All right, y'all. We're on the board with a decent one. That was cool. Let's get us another shiner up there. That's the second bite I've had right in this area. I'm just pitching the shoreline kind of like I would if I were bass fishing or something like that. Just kind of seeing what I can catch. Oh. Oh, oh, that looks like I'm getting, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got picked up again. I just got picked up again. Come here. There he is. I got him. I got him. Come here. Oh yeah, another pickerel. 
Another pickerel. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. Come here. Oh, he's about the same size. Look at there. Look at there. Nice pickerel. Come here, buddy. As yeah, y'all check it out, another nice pickerel right here. Starting to get a few fish. These are awesome to catch, man. I really, I like eating them. Let's let him go right here. All right, and we're just gonna keep fishing. It's getting almost time that we're gonna go back up there and look for them stripers. But I kind of like uh, catching these pickerel, man. It's fun. It's a blast, actually. I want to get a real big one. You know what I like about this kayak is you can be super stealthy. You know, that's one thing that you cannot be in a boat. And you technically can be in a boat, but not nearly as stealthy as this kayak. And so I'm going to really enjoy sight fishing redfish because I'm going to figure out a way to stand up in this thing. Tied on this little jerk bait right here, right before dark, this six cents jerk bait. I just want to see if I can get something. There's some pretty good fish blowing up out here in the middle. Oh, it was one of the tougher bites that I've seen out there today, folks. It was, uh, we fished and fished and fished and just didn't make it happen. And you know, they've been seeing a lot of fish there. The problem was we were like right uh, the day after a front. And anytime you fish the day after the front, they can shut those fish off. We did manage to catch a few out of the kayak, which was cool. We'll definitely go back and do that again and see if we can get us some like stripers and redfish and stuff. My dad did well there the day before, but it was on a 70 degree day. Uh, right before the front, so they were chewing, you know what I'm saying? Bear with us this winter. Wintertime fishing can be tough. That being said, doesn't matter. We're still pumping content. Well, you know, we are still doing our best to be as creative as we possibly can, pump as much content as we possibly can throughout the winter months, bringing y'all entertainment every other day on the channel, folks. As always, if you like the video, shoot me a big thumbs up. I haven't subscribed. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you next time.